Hello everyone, thanks for checking out my video. It's Goose coming at you with an answer to a question many of you flux node operators have about how much flux you can earn with a flux node. Stay tuned. All right, just to bring everyone up to speed, there are predominantly two ways to earn flux. The first is proof of work mining, which you can use a GPU to do. And second would be by providing computational resources to the decentralized Web3 environment that we call the Flux Node Network. Now, the Node Network is a layer two solution that runs on top of the blockchain, and it provides those resources for developers to run their apps in a decentralized way. So the more computational resources you're providing, the more potential you have to earn flux on the flux network. And so that's the incentive there. There is a third way to earn flux and it's kind of automatic because if you're mining, whether that's with proof of work or with a flux node, then you are also earning 10% of that in the form of flux tokens on one of five chains. We have Ethereum, Solana, Tron, Binance Smart Chain and Kadena, all of which you'll be able to claim assets uh, in the form of flux tokens for your mining rewards. So you're, you're getting uh, an additional 10% bonus on five other chains. Uh, so this is kind of a, a unique approach to incentivizing this, the network infrastructure. But if the more you look at it, the more you start to see that it's very beneficial to do this. And the great thing about it is anybody can do it. So if you're one of the flux node operators, big thumbs up to you guys for doing this work and, and help build the network. But if you're thinking about it, uh, let me go into a little bit of a breakdown just so that you can kind of get an idea uh, for what kind of flux you may be able to earn. Over on the Run on Flux website, we have this block reward distribution and our pie chart divides it up so that 50% of every block reward goes to our mining community. And then after that, there are three tiers within the Flux node network. The first is the Cumulus tier. That's gonna earn 7.5% of the block reward. Our Nimbus tier gets 12.5% and our Stratus tier gets 30%. And obviously, the more resources you can provide, the higher tier node you can um, put on the network, uh, the, the more rewards you're gonna get. So it kind of works like mining in the sense that if you have more GPUs, you have a better chance of solving blocks, so therefore you're going to earn more flux that way or in the node side of it with servers uh, if you have stronger servers if you're in the stratus tier you're going to be bringing in larger portions of that block reward for that computational resource and then of course don't forget the parallel assets that come in the form of 10 percent flux tokens on each of those other chains so how do i calculate how much i could potentially bring in on let's say a monthly basis. The easiest way to do this would be to come on over to home.runonflux.io and click on dashboard and then economics. And that'll take you to the economics page where there's an estimate for each node tier of approximately how much flux would be coming in at the time. So let's take a closer look at these. We'll start with the Cumulus Rewards and they have it broken down by day, by week, and by month. So let's just focus on the monthlies. And for a Cumulus node, it looks like it'll be bringing in around 98 flux per month. And that's just as of the making of this video. Of course, that could change depending on the number of uh, Cumulus nodes on the network. I'll explain that in a minute. But at, at a glance, here's where we're at, 98 flux. And then don't forget, there are also the parallel asset tokens coming in, and those are 10% of this amount on each of the five current chains. So that amounts to about 49 flux tokens. So when you add it all together, uh, you're looking around 250 USD per month coming in for a Cumulus node. The Nimbus, of course, has 12.5% uh, of the uh, block reward, so it's going to be bringing in 
a higher amount, a uh, little, little more than double the amount of flux. So I'm not surprised to see here that it's bringing in 234 flux. And it's also bringing in 117 flux tokens. So once again, add all those costs together, uh, maybe subtract a little bit for your VPS, and you're bringing in around $588 every month. Okay, and let me go ahead and hide my face here because this is the one that I'm sure most people would love to see is the Stratus node, and that is bringing in 906 flux per month plus 453 flux tokens for a grand total of somewhere around 2300 bucks. So this is probably the easiest way you can kind of determine about how much flux you would be earning for each of these node tiers. There are other ways to look at this, so let me show you what you can do with the Zellcore wallet. Over here in the Flux Nodes app, this map actually tells you how many nodes are in each tier. So we can see in the red that the Stratus node has 539 nodes there. Nimbus, there are 876, and Cumulus, 1240, okay? Now, to figure out how often you would receive a payout, it just takes a simple math, right? So let's pull up a calculator, all right? And let's look at Stratus. There's 539 of them. Every one of those Stratus nodes will receive a reward, but it's a first come first serve basis. So in other words, um, whenever that node was started, okay, it was placed at the bottom of the list of all the nodes in that tier. All right, so if I just started a brand new Stratus node and I was number 539, I would be at the bottom of that list, all right? And then every block reward that came through, I would move up one until I got to the top of the list and then I would receive my payout, all right? And then I'd go back to the bottom of the list and it would repeat all over again. So we know that the average block time on the Flux blockchain is about two minutes. Okay, so some simple math here, right? 539 times two minutes, all right? And we can divide that by 60 because there's 60 minutes in an hour, right? And that would be 17.96 hours. So we're saying roughly every 18 hours, you should receive one reward with your Stratus node, okay? So that's pretty good, right? Because every 17 hours, or every 18 hours roughly, uh, is better than once a day, all right? So I'll probably be receiving a little more than 30 of those every month. Let's do the same thing with Nimbus, okay? It says there are 876 Nimbus nodes times two. All right, we'll divide that by 60 minutes and that'll give us 29.2. So every 29.2 hours, we should receive a new uh, re reward on, on a Nimbus node, okay? And the same thing for the Cumulus, if we take 1240 divided by two, I'm sorry, times two, and then divide that by 60, all right? Every 41.3 hours, okay? So almost every, uh, two days. It's a little earlier than every two days currently, okay? Uh, and this will change based on the number of nodes that are on the network. So if all of a sudden the cumulus nodes double, all right, and now we have, let's say we have uh, 2480 of them, all right? We'll multiply that by two, divide it by 60, and that means every 82 hours, right? So if I divide that by 24, that means every three and a half days. Okay, so instead of um, the earlier number, now we're looking at uh, fewer reward payouts because it's deterministic and it works in order on that list. All right, and if you're curious where you are on that list, you can actually find that out right here. Just click on the little down arrow for your node and it will tell you your rank. All right, so right now my rank is 1071. So out of 1,240 nodes, I'm at rank 1071, all right? So that means I got to wait another 1,071 blocks before I'm going to receive a payout. So how long will that take? Well, I'll just pull up calculator again, 1071 times two, I'll divide that by 60, and that's uh, 35.7 hours, okay? So I got a little over a day and a half to go here 
uh, before I'm going to receive another reward for this particular node. And that's pretty much how you would calculate your node rewards, either using the run on Flux dashboard and going to the economics page or just pulling open the Flux nodes app and doing a little simple math to determine how frequently you would receive a reward for your particular node tier. I hope you found this helpful. If so, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, let me know what kind of node you're running down in the comments. I'd love to see what you're up to and what kind of computation that you're providing the network. Uh, how have your node rewards been? You know, are they consistent? Are you happy with the kind of rewards that you've been bringing in? Let us know. And if you guys like what you're seeing, please subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.